Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today we've moved um, from the last in the last episode. We moved from uh, the planet we were on to Meacham here. We've acknowledged that our store now is up and working, so we can get buy things in the store again um, after the release of the new Rogue Tech. So um, what we're going to do uh, is a couple things. First thing we're going to do is going to go to the store, and we're going to sell a bunch of stuff because I want to. I want to show you guys something here in a second. Um, so we're just going to dump off whatever we have that we don't want, which really isn't a lot, I don't think. Um, what do we got? We got 14 small lasers, which I don't think we need. Let's just drop off 10 of those. 26k. Um, hang on to those. We have anything down here we don't really want? Composite armor. Right. We. Yeah, I don't like this actual type of armor, so we're going to sell that. Um, I think we're going to sell maybe the 240 engine. They got a double heat sink here. One jump jet, we can get rid of that one jump jet. Um, got a nice TTS plus energy here, which is awesome. We want to drop into one of our mechs. We'll get the weapon mount. So we're going to do some rebuilding, I think, probably after this episode, because we've got to get our light lance fixed up a bit. Um, and let's sell... Actually, you know what? We're not going to sell. We're going to hold on to, the, we're going to, hold on to these fusion cores. Uh, we're going to sell the 320. And we'll leave it there, I think. And then we're going to go back here, and we're going to go to the hiring hall, because there's a pretty cool guy in here we want to hire. So I was kind of going through here just to see, because we way have one extra berth left over, and there's a guy here called Riddler. Um, Oregon Nobility. Uh, he has um, increased pilot maintenance and mood changes. However, he's also, where is it here? Mech Warrior increased starting XP, which, I mean, he's got a already good starting XP here. But he's also wealthy, so there's no pilot maintenance cost. So he'll cost zero the entire time we have him, which is awesome. So we're going to hire this guy. He's 103000 He's really expensive to get out the top, uh, almost twice as much as everybody else. But in the long run, definitely going to be worth it. So let's go to our barracks real quick. We'll see uh, how much XP this guy's got to start with here. I'm receiving you. So he does have like 4,000 extra XP to start. So we're going to drop in one, one uh, level of gunnery and confirm that. So now we've got an excellent backup pilot. Um, so let's just go to customization. And we want to get this guy a uniform. So we're just going to do our standard uniform and save. Standing by. Nice. So now he's up and running. So Riddler's ready to go. So we've got a good backup pilot. Um, so I'll leave him out of the battles for now. He's just going to gain experience. And if we need to drop him in, we will. I don't want to risk him right away because, you know, $0 per month is a really good for a pilot. Um, so we'll leave him as a backup for now. So now all our berths are filled up. So we're going to go to contracts. There's lots of contracts here now. So we've got, if we go up here, we've got like three half skull contracts for our light lance to do here. We've got a bunch of other contracts here for our um, main lance to do. Noisy neighbors, repossession, biological sample, insur insurgent leader, which I think what we're going to do today is this one. And let's just go that route. Now it's the beginning of the month, basically, kind of. So I'm not really worried about a cash situation. We're going to go this route. I mean, we shouldn't add a fair bit of cash, and I think we're almost, yeah, we do have enough to, to survive the uh, first uh, financial report, so we should be okay. But we're going to go this route, except. And wait a minute, would we not repair these main guys here? Did we lose stuff? I can't remember. Probably. What do we got to fix here? Phoenix Hawk. Let's refit this guy. What are we missing? Oh, right, the double heatsink. Right. And we picked one up, so we were able to replace that. Why won't... You know, they should just be able to... It's got the X on it. You should just be able to click it and get rid of it. Um, so where's that double heatsink again? Hello? Double heatsink. Where'd it go? Oh, it's here. Never mind. Durr. Okay, so that's dropped in. And I think this guy's pretty much ready to go. Um, we've already got the same TTS energy in this one, so we can't drop the other one in. So let's confirm this. It's going to be a couple of days. And let's have a look at the Centurion. Refit. 
and we lost the lower arm here. Um, do we have a lower arm? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Um, we can go without it. We don't really need it. What's this weapon mount doing here? It's still... Is that the one we already have? Or is that a different one? Um, plus 2 arm accuracy, plus 10 firing arc. So this is a little different. Is this the same? Yeah, it looks like it's the same thing. It is. Okay, so never mind. We're not going to bother putting that in. So we don't have to do much. Don't have to do anything with this guy. Just confirm this. So it's going to take zero days for that. And the flea. What do we have wrong with this guy? I think we took some crit hit on something. Upper arm and a small triple plus laser. Right. So let's repair. And I think we do have a small triple plus still. Yes, we do. I remember picking up an extra one. So we'll do that. I don't think we can get the arm mount on here, but what would, would be nice if maybe we pull that flamer out and we put this in. So we pull the flamer out. Uh, what's our heat efficiency right now? It's pretty good already. Uh, what else could we lose though? I mean, we could lose a single heat sink, right? We don't need this. We need a double heat sink. So we could lose the single heat sink. Right? And if we move the Guardian ECM here, we could then put this in here. And now we'll have plus one accuracy with all our lasers, which I think is probably a better way to go. So let's confirm that. Right. I want to get this Firefly moved down to the Light Lance, so I'm hoping to find a medium mech somewhere along the lines. So let's go to the Argo. Let's make sure we've got our guys moved to the top here. So Phoenix Hawk up above. And Firefly, so we've got two days. There we go. All right, let's do this now. So contracts. And insurgent leader. Full out, and let's do this. Okay, so we can take out our old lance. And go with the new one. Uh, we want to put in Jenner, flea, and cold metal. And we want uh, pylon, hickory, and a recoil. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. What do we got up here? We got two lances plus a leader and a bit. And I'm having a hard time determining what that is. Maybe... Crab or something? I don't know. Find out soon enough. Let's hope these guys are all vehicles or lights because otherwise we could be in trouble here. So uh, let's do reserve. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. God. Like an ideal place for an Thank you. Should have told us that before we came down here. So they are moving forward. That's interesting. Okay, let's reserve again. I don't really know where we can hide here where we are. Um, I don't think we can get eyes on from there. But let's move over here. There's a mech there. We can get Pylon in next. Sorry, buddy. Contact. That was a freaking Gauss rifle, really? Okay, that was a hard hit. Receiving you. How can they see us? That's what I want to know. No shooting, just running. Two C. Did I not look who we were up against? We may have to bail right away. Confirmed. If this is all clan stuff, we're out of here because there's no way I'm going to be able to take these guys on. Holy crap! I think we're... I, I think I should have looked at who I was fighting! <gasps> no! 
I think we're going to take a couple shots here and then we're going to get the hell out because I don't think we can actually do this one. Not if, this, not if that's what we're up against. They've got like pretty good armor too, so... How many Gauss Rifles are they going to have? That's a lot of Gauss Rifles. Well, we almost blew through CT. Okay, another Gauss Rifle. That's four. I mean, if we point blank them, yep. there's a possibility that we could do something. But I don't see us any situation here that we can actually come out on top. Oh, God. Um... Let's fire on this guy. Look at these. How many Firestarter 2Cs are they going to have? Maybe they got lucky on the flea. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. They hit him in the CT too. One more shot in the CT and he's done. Um... Yes, Commander. Hide behind the Jenner over here. Fire everything on this guy. Roger that. Okay, we pe we we panned his CT now. He's gonna go before us, so if he runs away, we're not gonna be able to kill him. Don't run away. Stay and fight. You know you want to. You know you want to. There you go. We're gonna bring you the uh, Centurion here in a second. Another 2C. Really? Really? At least they're missing. That's seven shots so far. Only one hit. These flamers, though, are what got me worried. Okay, it's a Locust 2C3? Of course. That's a lot of damage, too. Okay, Pylon, I want to see if we can take out this first fire starter. Another one. Really? At least they're missing, though. Jesus Christ. Okay, I, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like seven fire starter 2Cs. Wait, is it another one? Yep, eight fire starter 2Cs. <laughs> just, I should have been looking at what I was, what I was taking this mission. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. All right, we're bailing after this because this is. I don't think we can survive this one. Uh, let's see if we can get any salvage out of this. I'm going to fire on this guy. Uh, direct CT. Hopefully we kill him. No, didn't get a CT hit. Oh, we knocked him down, though. Okay, now the question is... Do I think... Oh, the guy's got 93 armor in the center torso. Did you guys just see that? That's... <laughs> The Locust 2C's got 93 armor in the center drawer, so... <laughs> 93! Are you kidding me? So there's no killing this guy. Fast. In any kind of possible way. 25 tons. So... It's getting close. 
and we're gonna shoot this guy aim for the CT maybe we get some salvage on him I don't know oh my god we didn't even kill him question is okay this is with the goss oh, of course it's a head hit what else would it be <laughs> Christ how much has this guy got left three uh, yeah you know it couldn't be less than that so let's I'm here if I move her though first like on my way double tap if I move her first though it's going to be a huge problem Fire. are you kidding me you didn't even hit the Fire ct with that, that i call it rigged okay here comes amelia attack so we have to bail we get zero salvage from this I can't I can't endure another like six Goss rifle attacks this turn. <sighs> it's tricky because if I go with if I go with Hickory first, then we've got that guy's not gonna get up. So we'll have the locust on us. ER large and two small pulse lasers, and then we'll have one, two, three, four Goss rifles plus a heavy mech. Yeah, I'm gonna withdraw. I can't. I don't want to afford the damage. Not get anything out of this. The commander. Commander's pulling out. That's right. Commander's chickening out. Well, we lost forty-one thousand plus whatever it's gonna take to fix our guys here. Took a pilot hit. Thank God it's only armor, but uh, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Oh, yeah, no salvage. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe we couldn't hit that guy's CT. I should have used the, uh, I should have used the, um, the Jenner. All right, well, we lost 57,000. Yikes. So, what's our tasks here? So, Locust in 8, Herb Mac, Jenner and Firefly in 4 days. So, we're going to hold, we're going to wait those. Alright, we got those guys back. So, let's just have a look at contracts here and be more wary about what we take, because that was bad. Um, Corporate Secrets is a recovery. Rival Corporation for the Clans, that's bad. Uh, biological sample. I wonder if, are these all against the clans? Yep. A single well armed lance. That's a half skull. So let's, let's take this and go with our current lance. And we're going to bring in, um, our new um, newest member Riddler for the uh, for the um, Jenner and let's attempt to get this one done all right here we go this should be a little bit more our speed now <laughs> half skull mission against the clans um, yeah it could get bad but we're going to just uh, see what happens here. There's supposed to be a single well-armed lance. So we're just going to see what we got here. All right. So, Pylon, buddy, I know you're shell-shocked, but we need to get up here and find out what we're up against. And you got the best evasion, so... What do we got here? Jenner 2C. Mad Dog? Really? 60 ton heavy mech? Really? 
a white. Not too bad. Jenner guy's got lots of streaks. Who's our best target here? Look at the evasion on this guy. No way we're hitting that guy. So it looks like it's this guy. I'm gonna fire everything on him. On it. So this is definitely one of those instances where we need to do full focus fire on one mech at a time. And it has to be enforced. Unless we have a completely great opportunity where we can backshot somebody, we definitely have to be taking down one mech at a time. Okay. Nice shot, buddy. Let's get cold metal in first. And we definitely have to be sprinting all the time if we can. 48. 48. Where was the other one here? There was three. One. 48, 42. Oh, wait, that's a direct line of sight. That's a bit better. Let's move over here. And we're going to fire everything on this guy. Okay, looks like we're penetrating, which is nice. And let's get the Riddler up here. Can we get a direct line of sight on this guy? I don't think so. Uh, it's 37. Uh, let's try and move where we're not going to be spotted by other people, if we can. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Oh, maybe here? Still 37. So let's move into here. Got it, Commander. And we'll fire everything on this guy. Acknowledge. Okay, one laser hit. That was good. So how do we do here? Not bad. Not bad at all. This guy should go down next turn. So we've got to pull back now. We're going to leave Pylon up front. We're going to move Recoil back. Um, and we're going to start engaging this guy again over here. Really low chances. Can we get up to a better position at all? That's a little better. And let's do that. On the move. Full speed. Okay. And we're going to fire everything on this guy. Firing a full well, one hit anyway. Ooh, nice shooting text. Damn, look at that. Okay, two hits. Guy's a crack shot. It's gotta be ace pilot. Okay, he's flying. Jumping, that is. Where did he go? Down there, eh? I live to serve. Crafty little bugger. Thirty percent. Well, I'll take it. Moving to position. Gotta take this guy on. I'm really hoping there's only three of these guys. I think things are going okay cool now we got a better chance to hit him nope there's another one ah <sighs> really gonna move here Really got to take this guy down. So we're going to dump everything right into the side of this guy. Wow, look at those misses. That's crazy. Okay, torso damaged and gone, so he goes down. So most of these, most of these guys, I think, have, like, XL engines and stuff, so... Yeah, so we might be able to... This guy's got a fair bit of armor, too, right? Um, let's reserve pylon. I want to see what this guy up here does. Holding for tactical advantage. That's a cool frame, man. He's 
got a Goss rifle? Really? Did I not see that? Two or he's got two Goss clans, right? Yes, Commander. All right, buddy. Um, let's start laying down some Under fire on that guy. Let's give him something to worry about. He didn't move, so we got really good chances to hit. We're gonna fire everything. Not looking for any salvage out of this. If we get salvage, great. But I really need to pull these guys down. Jesus, that guy's got a good jump. Look at that. Minimal damage on that kid. Yeah, but he still hits you though. Okay, he's over. He's overheating. So recoil. Uh, let's. He wants to play that game. Let's play the game. He's got so much evasion though. Look at that. But we're behind him, so we got. Okay, chances to hit. What's his back armor like? 30, 45, not too bad. Except that we miss with everything. Nice light show, buddy. No luck. Yeah, do you think? It's like a freaking disco show back there. Okay, a locust. So not so bad. Although they got lots of armor, so. I've already encountered that. He's got low evasion, though, so. Yeah, he's got. Look at 125 in the center. Really? Waiting for orders. Such a low chance to hit on this guy. Gonna take it though. Um, no, we're not. We're gonna keep working on this guy. Got it, Commander. Okay. Something good. Not as far as I was hoping to go. And we'll fire everything on this guy. Look at those numbers. Nice. Okay, now pylon, you gotta get a good distance. Almost lost a torso. So let's get up here. Oh, I can't hit him from there, right? Um, here? Moving out. Not going to have as much evasion as I was hoping, but pretty darn good. We're going to fire on the side of this guy. Okay. That guy's Enemy gone. Down. Two down. I'm worried. I'm, the only guy I'm worried about is this guy over here. He's an ace pilot. All those jump jets. See what he does though, because I mean... He's becoming unstable too, or he's unstable. So we should be able to just clean this guy's clock here in a second. So let's do this. Let's... Receiving you. Can't melee him. So Anytime. let's get the Riddler. God, I'm calling him the Riddler now. Let's get Riddler. Here. And let's make him unstable. That's all we're doing is just making him unstable. So that locust has still got that uh, ER large. Can do some damage. Hopefully he's going to try and melee here. Going to see what his back armor looks like here in a second. Forty-five and sixty, eh? Jesus. Ready for order. Can you see this guy's back? I think that's a back shot if I ever seen one. 
All right, fire everything. All weapons are oh, knockdown. Well, two or three injuries. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we can get some head hits on this guy. I know I said I wasn't going for salvage, but if we can do that, that would be wonderful. Now let's go after the head and fire everything. Oh, nice. Okay. Pylon. Now the question is, is do we go after this locust? Probably not. No. Let's don't go after the locust. He's got lots of back armor. We can't kill him, but what we can do is hopefully finish this guy up. Let's try for a headshot again. Nope. Critical hit, Commander. Okay, he goes. F this locust goes first. Let's see what he's up to here. We got plenty of chances to hit that guy's head now. Okay, so we're gonna get Riddler going first. Gonna pull back here and give it a bit of room for those lasers and missiles to fire. And we're going to target this guy and go after his head. How much has he got left? CT 31. Well, we could get a kill here, unfortunately. Let's just fire the missiles. Oh, he bailed out. Okay, that's just as good. What's up, Commander? What's up? What's up is I want you to try and kill this guy. That's what's up. Location confirmed. All right, target this guy in the back, fire everything. So much better off shooting this guy in the back because uh, he's got so much armor. Not the optimal range for these LRMs, but... Okay, Gyro. And Pylon should be able to knock him down. Let's get it right in here. On my way, double time. And with the knockdown, let's fire everything. For an oh, or the kill, that works too. Okay, so it looks like half-skull missions are definitely more our speed. Okay, we didn't make much money off that, but not worried about that. And we didn't take really all that much damage. We got lucky, I think, in a lot of instances. Those Gauss Rifles could have been really nasty, but we managed to get away from them. So lots of Jenner parts up here. Uh, lots of Mad Dog parts, which is nice. Lots of white parts. So we should get a bunch of stuff. Goss Clan. Clan Goss Rifle. So now I have to decide. Large Pulse. Clan Large Pulse. Six tons. Heat 40, though. Medium Pulse Clan. Small Pulses. Streaks. Clan cockpit, group breaching shot. Look at that. Endo steel clan. Ugh. XL clan. Clan pharaoh. Defensive gyro, clan heat sinks. Okay, so that's a good score. NSS. I think. Oh my god, this is so much better. Let's grab the NSS. Um. God, it's such a hard choice. The cl this thing here. Look at the price on it, man. Now, I don't know if the clan excels you. Let's take that. And a weapon. A Gauss rifle. Let's take that. Let's go that way. I think that's probably a good way to go. I mean, the Street Sixes are nice. 17 heat for 3 tons. Streak 4. Yeah. Well, let's just see what we get. Okay, Jenner 2C part, Locust part, 1, 2, 3, 4 Mad Dog parts, 1, 2 White parts, a couple of cockpits. That's nice, too. 
So we made it really well, 36 million C bills. So that was really great. Okay, 9,000 in repairs, which is really good. And that wasn't too bad at all. Like, we only got two mechs damaged in that one. We could wait two days. Hickory's out for eight more. We could wait five days and get our next... Yeah, I don't think our Light Lance is actually going to be able to do any combat here. I think they're going to just get smoked. Um, so maybe we'll stick around here for a bit and pick up some... Do the other two couple uh, one half skull clan missions with our main Lance and then move to some more Steiner planets to see if we can get some more mech parts to complete some of the other mechs that we have, the heavier ones. So we can cycle down some of these other mechs into the Light Lance. I think that's probably the best way to go. So we'll wait five days. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah we're, good. we're okay there. And um, I think next episode when we come back, um, I think that's what we'll do is we'll try and do a few more half skull, maybe even try a one skull mission here with our main lance and see if we can pick up some more clan stuff and then move back into regular Steiner space to see if we can just get um, uh, some more mech parts to upgrade our mechs because we, we're really close to completing a few mechs and I think I want to try and do that too so we can at least get some heavier hitters when we go in up against the clan boys because that first mission that we took with the uh, six Firestarter 2Cs, those clan, those Goss rifles, <laughs> they would have just ripped us apart if we had stayed in that battle. As soon as we had started getting in close, they would just tore us apart. So, yeah. Anyway, so we'll leave it up, leave the episode here for today. If you like it, drop a like. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Check out my channel. i got a lot of, lots of stuff going on there with uh, Rotech and Battletech stuff. And until next time, we'll see you all later.